Chapter 1 The Age of Renaissance We have studied history of medieval India last year. This year, we are going to study the history of modern India. Before, however, we take up this study, we shall briefly survey some important developments in world history that have influenced the development of modern India. Renaissance During the last phase of the medieval era in Europe, 13th century AD to 16th century AD, certain developments laid the foundation of the modern age. They were the Renaissance, the geographical discoveries and the Reformation. The meaning of Renaissance is rebirth or revival. During the Renaissance, the Greek and Roman traditions in the fields of art, architecture and philosophy, etc. were revived. The Renaissance, however, was not just a revival of ancient traditions. It also inspired an all-round progress. It ushered in a new era in the history of the world. The Renaissance begins. Religion had tremendous hold over medieval European society. From the 13th century onwards, many changes were seen in all fields of human life. Italy was at the center of this change. Italian sailors began to trade with the countries of Asia and Europe. This trade gave rise to the class of merchants and brought prosperity to the cities of Italy. This class of merchants lent patronage to arts. Nature of the Renaissance The most important value put forth by Renaissance is humanism. Man began to look at himself differently during this period. He now saw himself as the most intelligent of all the animals. Man has discerning power. He can discriminate between good and bad, decide what is right or wrong. It is but natural for man to have emotions, feelings and desires. Man was convinced that he himself had the power to shape his own destiny. Man became the center of all thought. The Renaissance was a comprehensive movement which encompassed all aspects of human life. It found expression in fields like philosophy, literature, science, music, sculpture, painting and architecture. New works of art were created in all these fields. New styles were developed in art and literature. Human feelings and emotions, joys and sorrows came to be portrayed. Literature came to be produced in regional languages which people could follow. Till then, books used to be in the manuscript form. The printing press was invented around 1450. As a result, it became possible to take new ideas, new concepts and knowledge to one and all in the society. Leonardo da Vinci truly exemplifies the progress made during the Renaissance. He was well versed in many arts and sciences. He was a painter, sculptor, architect and engineer all cast into one. He was a musician, a mathematician and an astronomer. His life shows that there are no limits to man's intellectual capacity and to his power of expression. The great playwright Shakespeare and well-known scientists like Copernicus and Galileo were the products of the Renaissance period. The Dawn of New Sciences Traditional knowledge, blind faith and age-old customs were all challenged during the Renaissance period. Man began to use all his sense organs more consciously in the process of the construction of knowledge. Scientists began to uncover the mysteries of nature through experimentation and the power of observation. Physics, chemistry, astronomy and other disciplines developed during this era. The Reformation The independent thinkers attacked the old religious beliefs too. The priests used to give undue importance to religious rites and practices by taking advantage of people's ignorance. They used to rob people in the name of religion. The movement that was launched in Europe to oppose all this is known as the Reformation. Wycliffe, Erasmus, Calvin and other thinkers 
criticized the malpractices in the Institute of Religion and the hypocritical behavior of the clergy. The Bible, the holy book of the Christians, was in Latin. The common people did not understand this language. During the period of the reform movement, the Bible was translated into English, French and other languages of the common people. People realized that there was a lot of difference between the teaching of the Bible and the preaching of the Roman Catholic Church. Martin Luther protested against the evils prevalent in the Roman Catholic Church. His followers are, therefore, known as Protestants. A new Christian sect of Protestants arose in addition to the already existing Roman Catholic order. The Reformation movement spread to many countries of Europe. The newly emerged middle class supported this movement. The concepts of individual freedom and rationalism gained importance in the realm of religion. Geographical Discoveries Condiments, sugar, silk, textile and other valuables imported from the eastern countries were used by Europeans till the 15th century. The flow of goods, however, stopped as the Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople, Istanbul, in A.D. 1453. This city was the capital of the former Byzantine Empire, also known as the Eastern Roman Empire. The Turks blocked all the land routes passing through their empire. Europe was therefore forced to find new routes to travel to the countries of the East. The Portuguese sailor Bartolomeu Diaz reached the southern tip of Africa in the hope of finding out a new sea route to India. This tip is called the Cape of Good Hope. Columbus, who had set out in search of India, landed on a shore which he wrongly believed to be Indian territory. Later, the Italian sailor Amerigo Vespucci reached the same shore following the route taken by Columbus. Because of him, it became clear that it was not the coast of India. This new, previously unknown territory came to be called America after Amerigo. The sea road to India was discovered by Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese sailor, in 1498. The Portuguese sailor Ferdinand Magellan set out on a voyage in 1519 with the ambition of circumnavigating the earth. Although he was killed in a skirmish before he completed the voyage, his co-sailors completed the circumnavigation. This was the first sea voyage around the globe in the history of the world. Effects of the Geographical Discoveries European trade with Asia and Africa prospered because of the new sea routes connecting Europe with the East. Portugal and Spain were initially in the forefront of this trade. Later, there began a competition for trade among England, France, Holland and other European countries. During this period, the view that gathered strength was that the ruling powers should give protection to the trade and industries in their country if the nation were to become prosperous. This economic policy is known as mercantilism. European traders began to invest their profits in new industries. They began to pool their resources with a view to raising capital for trade. This led to the formation of trading companies. The East India Company that had come to India was also one such company. As a result of the growth in trade, a new class of professionals such as bankers, agents, shopkeepers, clerks and accountants emerged. This new class came to be called as the middle class. The European nations established their colonies in various parts of the continents of America, Asia, Africa and Australia. The European traders used to buy goods from the colonies at a considerably low price and then sold them in Europe at a much higher price. In order to exploit the colonies more systematically, the Europeans grabbed the power there using force. This policy is known as colonialism. The Renaissance, the Reformation and the geographical discoveries prepared the background for the modern age. However, the modern era was truly ushered in with the age of revolution. We shall study it in the next chapter.